So we just left Val's uh, coffee shop and that's where we met Ethan, who we'll show the photo of. But Ethan is a Christian who's been looking for community in Flagstaff, having a hard time finding community mm. because he's found a lot of religious community, but not spiritual community. Just that he might not have as great a community right now, but that's something that um, God wants to provide for him. And yeah, we're just hoping and praying that we can be part of that in some way. Um, He's wanting to join us tonight for prayer and worship before we head back down to Phoenix, so that's really exciting too. Um, anyway, that's the update. Documentary. That's right. Look at this. Um, the Holy Spirit gave me Isaiah 25, 6 through 9. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all peoples a feast of rich food, a feast of well-aged wine, a rich food full of marrow, of aged wine, well refined. And he will swallow up on this mountain the covering that is cast over all peoples, the veil that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever, and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces. And then moving to verse 9. Um, it will be said on that day, Behold, this is our God. We have waited for him that he might save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. So that is our prayer for Flagstaff, that he would remove the veil of darkness and death, um, that he would flip the script and make it a city of life. <laughs> um, I just felt the Spirit bring, bring me to a scripture in Revelation 21. It's a part where... Uh, I, John, heard a loud shout from the throne saying, look, God's home is now among his people. And that just like being something prophetic that God was speaking over Flagstaff, that like his home is here. His home is with the people here and that we can pray into that. Um, I felt the Lord give me Isaiah 62, um, just kind of as a kind of call um, for us to, as a people, um, prepare the way for the re rebuilding of his city, um, Flagstaff, just pass through, pass through the gates, prepare the way for the people, build up, build up the highway, remove the stones. Um, the Lord has made proclamation to the ends of the earth. Um, say to daughter Zion, see that your savior comes and that city will be called um, a holy people, the redeemed of the Lord, you'll be called a city no longer deserted. Um, I just felt like he was speaking that over Flagstaff, that, um, yeah, just that it would no longer be a city deserted, but that um, he wants to give it a new name, that it's a city no longer deserted, and that we as a people get to just be part of that, preparing the way um, and removing the stones and, yeah, just being that voice of proclamation that our savior comes to the city. And so they are looking for the satisfaction. They're looking for healing. They're looking for only what God can give them through these objects and, and really um, what, we, what, what we need to pray for is that they would see that they are God's children. Like this, uh, this adoption, God wants to adopt them into their family. So pray for the people of Flagstaff that they... Uh, would be adopted into God's family, that they would no longer look to these stones, but look to their creator. Praying here with these wonderful people, I really felt led to bless the earth underneath. We are walking up here in Flagstaff that with each footstep that we take, that it would blossom and flower and grow and enrich the soil and both physically and spiritually so that those up here would feel new, growing relationship with the Lord. I think for a prayer point for this is actually we were talking about the body of Christ and about unity within that. And the verses, two verses that God gave me was Isaiah 40, 31, which is, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. And then the other verse is Hebrews 6, 19, 20, which is we have this hope as an anchor for, our, for the soul, firm and secure. It enters the inner sanctuary behind the curtain where our forerunners, Jesus, has entered on our behalf. And I just feel like that verse, those verses are actually praying for the specific 
pastors about them and about how we're going to bless the churches here that they're going to continually just step into that heavenly realm and knowing that they want to continue to be with jesus in that direction so it came to my heart that we would pray that god would guide out of isaiah 57 verse 18 i have seen his ways but i will heal him i will guide him and restore comfort to him and his mourners bringing lit praise to their lips peace peace to those far and near so just believing that lord would bring those who are close to him but also those who are far from him and then the other thing that i felt was important when we were walking around earlier and the lord reminded me was the parable of the good samaritan and that we would be unlike the religious who don't want to go to people who are unlike them but that we'd be able to be willing to reach out to those who are very different from us just like the good samaritan did so as I was praying about Flagstaff, I felt that Isaiah 58, and specifically the second half, was the key um, for how we could serve the city. And so I wanted to read that. Uh, and this is God's view on biblical fasting. He's like, you can fast from food, but if you do it in the wrong heart, it means nothing to me. And he's like, if you think this is real fasting, I'll show you real fasting. And then he goes... Is not this the kind of fasting I have chosen to loose the chains of injustice and untie the cords of the yoke, to set the oppressed free and break every yoke? Is it not to share your food with the hungry and to provide the poor wanderer with shelter when you see the naked to clothe them and not to turn away from your own flesh and blood? Um, and so, yeah, just pray that if God has Flagstaff for this church community, that when we come up, that our faith would be more radical than the radical ideologies on the left and the right in Flagstaff, and that it would shine like a light in darkness for those seeking the Father. So something we have just been on our hearts that we are feeling just Flagstaff needs is a space, a community for young adults um, to do life together and do spirit-led life together, just like a life-giving community. And today we met this guy named Ethan. Um, he's a college student and um, he grew up in the church. Uh, he just felt like the image, like a single person, but representing what we felt like God was like just speaking over Flagstaff. And it felt like such confirmation that, wow, that is something that God wants to do up here. And he led us to somebody and we got to pray over him. And even in his own words, he said, just being with us, worshiping and praying, uh, felt like a glass of cold water, like a spring. Um, and so yeah, just super confirming that that is something that God wants to do in Flagstaff and we get to be a part of it.